The Senate and the House of Representatives on Wednesday ratified the Tax Reform for Acceleration and Inclusion, or TRAIN bill. It will cut income taxes but adds levy on fuel, cars, mining, coal, and tobacco. The bicameral conference committee version will now be sent to President Rodrigo Duterte for signing into law. Once signed, the measure is set to be implemented by January 1, 2018. In the House, no questions are asked before ratification, so the process takes only a minute. ACT Teachers Representative Antonio Tino tries to object due to lack of quorum but is not recognized by House Duty Speaker Raneo Abu. In the Senate, the Chamber ratifies the BICAM report 16 to 4. There is also last-minute confusion after it is found the House supposedly inserted a provision retaining the value-added tax exemptions of locally produced coal, contrary to what the joint panel earlier approved. There were reportedly two BICAM reports sent to lawmakers. The BICAM agreed to increase the excise tax on coal from 10 pesos to 50 pesos for 2018, 100 pesos for 2019, and 150 pesos for 2020. As for income taxes, lawmakers agreed to exempt from the tax the first 250,000 peso annual income of Filipinos, whether compensation earners or self-employed. This means those earning around 21,000 pesos a month would no longer need to pay income taxes. To compensate for the loss of revenue, Congress increases taxes on fuels such as gasoline, diesel, and liquefied petroleum gas. This means higher prices for these commodities. The joint panel also decided to increase the prices of tobacco by 2018, despite the absence of this provision in both the Senate and House versions. The BICAM also approves increase in taxes for automobiles, mining, and cosmetic surgeries.